How's it going everyone? My name is Miguel Fuentes and today is Wednesday. Uh, as you may know, uh, today's a rainy day and so uh, I decided to stay home. Even though that my, my oppressors are trying to work me to death. And, uh, and uh, you know, I just try not to get risk of getting sick from the rain and all. Because I do have a compromised immune system. But anywho, uh, today's Wednesday, and uh, today I want to uh, continue on the series on the book of First Enoch. And we're going to be focusing on chapter 16 through 21 today, and uh, praise God, I am very, very excited. Very, very excited. And so before we get started, let's go ahead and pray first. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for today. We thank you, Lord, for all that you've done. Father, we just ask of you in Jesus' name, Lord, that you would uh, come and change our hearts, change our minds. Lord, if we have any sin in our hearts, Lord, Lord, we repent. Lord, we plead the blood of Jesus over our hearts, minds, soul, uh, mind, and soul. And, um, and Lord, I pray that you would uh, lead us, Lord, into your truth, Lord. And we praise you. We glorify you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Ready? Chapter chapter 16. From the days of the slaughter and destruction and death of the giants, from the souls of who flesh the spirits, having gone forth, shall destroy without in cunning judgment Thus shall they destroy until the day of the con the consum uh, the con the consumptions the great judgment in which the age shall be consumed over the watchers and the godliness. Ye, uh, he shall be wholly uh, consummated, and now as the wa sorry not and now as to the watchers who have set thee to to um, intercede for them, who had been a four time in heaven. Say to them, You have been in heaven, but all the mysteries had not yet been revealed to you. And you knew worthless ones, and these in the hardness of your hearts you have made known to the women, and through these mysteries women and men work much evil on earth. Saying to them, therefore, you have no peace. Chapter 17 And they took and brought me to a place in which those who were there were like flaming fire. And when they wished, and, uh, when they, wished they appeared as men. And they began to, and they brought me to the place of darkness, and to a mount, the point of whom some reaches to heaven. And I saw the place of the luminescence and treasures of the stars and of thunder, and in the most uh, other most depths. Where, uh, we, where were a fiery bow and arrows, and their quivers in a in a uh, in a uh, fir, fir, uh, furry uh, uh, sword, and all the lightnings. And they took me to the living waters, and to the into the fire of the west. Which receive every setting of the sun, 
And I came to a river of, of river in which the fire flows like water. And this, uh, and this charge itself into the great sea towards the west. Mm. I saw the great rivers and came to the great river and to, to the great darkness and went to the place where no flesh walks. I saw the mountains of the darkness of winter and the place where all the waters of the deep flow. I saw the mouths of all the river of the earth and the mouth of the deep. Chapter 18 I saw the treasures of all the winds. I saw how he had furnished with them the whole creation in the firm foundation of the earth. And I saw the cornerstone of the earth. I saw the four winds which bear the earth in the fragment of the heaven. And I saw how the winds stretch out the voice of heaven and have their stations between heaven, heaven and earth. These are the pillars of heaven. I saw the winds of heaven which turn and bring the, comf uh, the curved composition of the sun and the sun and the stars to their setting. I saw the winds of the earth carrying the clouds. I saw the path of the angels. I saw at the end of the earth the fragment of the heaven above. And I proceed and saw a place which burns day and night, where there are seven mountains of uh, of magnificent stones, three towards the east, three towards the south. And as for those towards the east, was a, was of of colf, colored stone, and one of pearl, and one of Jacketh, and those toward the south of red stone. But the middle which, but the middle one reached to heaven, like the throne of God, of alabaster, and the summit of the throne which of, uh, of uh, sapphire. And I saw a flaming fire, and beyond these mountains is a region to the end of the great earth. There the heavens were complete. And I saw a deep abyss with columns of fiery fire, sorry, with columns of heavenly fire, and among them I saw columns of fire fall, which were beyond measure alike towards the heights and towards the depth. And beyond that abyss I saw a place which had no fragment of the heaven above and no formerly found earth beneath it. There was no water upon it and no birds, but it was a waste and horrible place. I saw there are seven stars like great burning mountains, and to me, when I acquitted regarding them, the angel says, This place is the end of the of heaven and earth. This has become a prison for the stars and the hosts of heaven, and the stars which roll over the fire are they which have transgressed the commandments of the Lord in the beginning of their rising, because they did not come forth at their appointed time. And he was worth with them, and a and abound them until the day sorry, until the time when their get when their guilt shall be consumed 
even for 10,000 years. Mm. Chapter 19. And your says to me, Here shall stand the angels where have, sorry, here shall stand the angels who have connected themselves with women, and their sense and their spirits, assuming many different forms, are defying mankind and shall lead them astray in, into sacrificing to demons as gods. Ooh, okay. Here shall they stand until the day of the great judgment, in which they shall be judged until they are made an end of. And the women also of the angels who went astray shall become sirens. Interesting. Okay. And I, Enoch, alone saw the vision in the end of all things. And no man shall see as I have seen. I guess Enoch have a sneak preview of the end times, amen. Chapter 20 And these are the names of the of the holy angels which watch. Um, and I can't pronounce these names uh, except for Michael, Raf uh, Gabriel, Raphael. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, so I can't pronounce these names right, and so I'm just, I'm just not going to try to pronounce these things. But you can read the, 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 you can read the book of First Enoch yourselves in chapter 20. On to chapter 21, last chapter. And I perceived to watch things were chaotic. And I saw there something horrible. I saw neither a heaven above nor a firm found, founded earth, but a place chaotic and horrible. And there is, there I saw seven stars of the heaven found together uh, in it, like great mounds and have in burning with fire. Then I saw for what sin are they bound, and on what account have they been cast in Hattar. Then, then said, uh, you are one of the holy angels, who was with me and, chief, and was chief over them, and says, Enoch, why doest thou ask, and why art thou eager for the truth? These are of the number of the stars of heaven, which have transgressed the commandments of the Lord, and are bound here until ten thousand years. The time entailed by their sins are consumed. Are consumed. And I saw a horrible thing, a great fire there which burnt and blazed and the place was chaff as, as far as the abyss, being full of great descending columns of fire. There it exists or magnitude could, have, could I see, nor could I conjure it. Then I saw how fearful, how fearful, fearful is the place and how horrible to look upon. Then uh, you also answer me, one of the holy angels who was with me, and says unto me, Enoch, why hast thou such fear and frighted? And I answered, because of this fearful place, and because of the spectacles of the pain. And he says unto me, this place is the prison of the of the angels and here they will be in prison forever 
And that's the end of chapter 21. And so next week we're we're, we're going to get into um, chapters 22 through. I'm going to say through 36. Because these are pretty short. But yeah, so what we learn from here? Well, chapter 16. The days of the slaughter is the great flood. And today we are living in a in the days of slaughter, we've seen so many people either die from COVID-19. We see people getting murdered. We, we, we've seen massacres, genocides, and all these things that we see today. And in chapter 17, it, talked the, it talks about the description of hell. And then in chapter 18, uh, describes about the spiritual realm uh, of heaven and, and parts of hell too. Uh, in chapter 19, uh, Enoch saw a vision. And chapter 20 and 21 talked about the same thing. Talked about uh, one of the holy angels talked with uh, Enoch and in chapter 21 is, is pretty very interesting um, because it talks about how Enoch saw this fearful place which to me I, I believe that this is hell and you know some say hell is meant for Lucifer and, and their angels which is absolutely true they are bound there for 10,000 years and then forever and ever. Then the whole world's over. Excuse me, I just took a very great nap. Um, but yeah, you know, it, it, it's so interesting to me, you know, as a spiritual Hebrew or a spiritual Jew. That, that, that the book of Enoch is very powerful book and if you don't understand it you you're gonna get yourself lost and, and you know to me to study the book of first Enoch you got you, you gotta do a lot of digging you gotta do a lot of research you know, even even using different books of the Bible to really help understand why the Book of Enoch is the most, I would say, the most controversial book in Western Christianity. Why, why this book is absent from the Bible, and and that's why I'm making these series from every book of the Apocrypha, and 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 either in in any other lost books. Is that I think I think Western Christianity has been lying to me. I uh, and, and I know for a fact that I've been lied to. Um, and uh, and and uh, and I'm just been seeking God about this, and my eyes begin to open to the truth. I have been lied to. I, I I've been reckless enough that I think I think it's time for me to take my walk with the Lord to the next level. And um yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's kinda of short, but you know, I just I just want to get this video out there for you guys, but but I encourage you to dive into the book of First Enoch yourselves. 
uh, and and come up with your own conclusion, um, you know, and and you know, all that jazz, and you know, it, it's 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 part of your learning experience. Amen. So, I hope you guys have a great great work week. I'm returning back to work tomorrow, even though it's gonna be raining ish when I first wake up, but it's gonna die down before eight o'clock, so I give God praise. I really do, I give God praise. So I hope you guys have a great, great uh week so far. May God bless you. I see you guys again next time.